Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to come out here to the pasture and uh, show you a little thing that we, a little uh, hack that we figured out. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you like it, hit the notification bell, leave your comments. So um, as you can see here, we have these lights that go all around our property, all the way around, right? And uh, what we did, uh, so you can get these at Walmart. They're only like a dollar each, which uh, we got these when we got the stimulus. So that's why we have so many. Um, but we always like, back when we were in Arizona, we would drive around like like areas where it was more rural and because and, we were thinking about homesteading. So we like to see the farmland and stuff like that. And uh, there's a lot of people there that do lights around their property. So we decided to do it too. And um, you know, they just come in this like white color right here. But what we figured out is that like the top right here comes off, right? I'm not going to I'm not going to take it off cuz it, it'll be hard to put back on one-handed, but you just like turn it and it comes off. Um and then what you can do is you can buy cellophane, just like a roll of cellophane that's 100 feet. Uh it just costs like 7 bucks on Amazon. And so what we did is we bought um orange right here. So for for right now, for October, November, we have them alternating uh, white and red, or sorry, white, duh, white and orange. And um, I don't know, I don't think you can see it too well um, in this video, but maybe right now, the way I have the camera, you can see in the background, it's alternating uh, white and orange. And so it's kind of like those fall and Halloween colors. But um, like what we did is, okay, you know what? I'll just do it. I'll take this off. So we just have this uh, cellophane right here that you just cut it off into these uh, squares and then you just put it in there, kind of crinkle it in a little bit. It doesn't affect how dim it is or anything like that. Um, I mean, like when you look over there, it's all, you can't really even tell at all. Um, if you were here in person, you, you would totally see the colors, but you can see that none of the lights have been affected by putting the cellophane in there other than the actual color. So that's one thing I was worried about, but we did it and it works perfectly. So what we're going to do, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, um, <clears throat> we are going to have this up, the orange, until probably, <clears throat> excuse me, until probably the week of Thanksgiving. And then uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to order green and red. And so it's just going to be alternating green, red, white, green, red, white. And then we'll do, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I guess after that we'll, we'll do maybe like red and white for Thanksgiving. Or where is my brain today? We'll do red and white for um, uh, Valentine's Day probably for like just the first couple weeks, maybe, maybe the whole month of February. Uh, and then we'll go back to clear on, um, in April. Um, oh, before April for St. Patrick's Day, maybe for the whole month of March, we'll do green and white alternating. Maybe we'll do green, orange, white. I'm not sure. I uh, probably just green and white. I think that'll probably look best. Um, what else? We got the 4th of July. Uh, we'll do red, white, and blue, of course. Um, and that might be all that we do. Maybe if, like, the Chiefs go to the Super Bowl again, uh, maybe we'll do, like, red, yellow, white. Because um, I guess now we're going to be Chiefs fans now that we live here in Kansas. Um, and, uh, yeah, whatever. And then just whatever else comes to mind. Maybe we'll do, like, the high school colors. Um, if there's, like, some big thing going on with the high school um so yeah so i just thought i would share that a uh, little hack with you it's like a, it's a really cheap way to do lights around your property and if you have a smaller property i mean obviously you can do the same thing uh these lights right here so what we have is we have these zip ties that are holding them on and i know that's kind of tacky but when you're when you're far away you can't really see them and then on the, those lights over there, we just have them on the inside of the post. So it's harder to see from the street. Um, but what you can also do is uh, they come. I don't think this one. Oh yeah, this one has one. 
they come with these stakes right here so you just like put that back up in there and then put it in the ground so if you if you like this idea you can put these around your property and do the same thing and uh, the best thing about them is that these are actually solar they're solar lights so we don't have to worry about turning them on um, we've had them now for going on about two years now and they still work just fine um, so they just automatically come on at night you can cover a really large area and then you can easily so easily just color, change the colors um, and again uh, those hundred foot rolls which will probably last for an entire lifetime um, they're only like seven or eight bucks right per color and, and there's also other like bundles that you can buy where they come with like um, already cut into like squares so you can make like bags and stuff uh, you can buy that too so if you have like a smaller property and you don't need so much orange or have one color then um, maybe you can buy one of those multicolor packs but it's really a way to make your house look really nice I think uh, I really like lights quite a bit um, I actually want to put even more lights up <laughs> Uh, like we have some like random poles right here well it's not random this is so that like when that when you open this gate right here there's like two gates so that when you open it you can um you know use this chain and then pull it open um so maybe we'd put one like right here where the where the gate wouldn't hit it um but we also back over this way um there's our our old hay bale that we bought last year um it should still be good to eat uh, i think i've mentioned that in other in other videos but if you just kind of like pull off the top layers the the middle of it's still good <clears throat> but we're still probably gonna go ahead and buy more bales but going back here um what we did is we put an electric fence around the whole inside of the pasture all along that fence line right there where the lights are there's electric fencing um, it's helped it's in order to help keep the chickens in uh, which it actually works pretty good for them it's not like foolproof but it works good enough but um more importantly uh, over here now we've mowed it all down we're getting it ready for next season uh, this year it was kind of a disaster <laughs> We didn't work as hard as we should have with our garden but that's where our garden was and so <clears throat> we got this electric fence right here i don't know if you can see it uh, we got this electric fence to keep the cows from going back there uh, this is the energizer and uh, it's solar powered so that's kind of nice um, i can't remember what the what the book said but if it's like really cloudy and it's just getting no sun uh, it'll work for I can't remember like a week or a couple weeks or something like that um but anyway this energizer is like more than what than what we need for this little property <clears throat> we basically just sectioned off like an acre and a half and that's how big the the pasture is but anyway why why i came over here um we have these t posts right here that you know you hang the wire on and so i'm thinking of putting some more of those lights um, on each of the t-posts and um <clears throat> there might be a few other places and uh you know it may seem like a lot of work to go through and change the color um because you can see it's a ton of lights but for me and for my family it's worth it uh we're very festive pe people we we really enjoy the holidays a lot and uh, i think it's really from a spiritual standpoint i think it's kind of important because i think it's a a tool that you can use to um, create the spirit in your home um, foster just family unity and and just like a good spirit um, my mom was always really good about the holidays and those memories you know they lasted uh, all the way until today um, i love having decorations up in the house and outside as well and uh i just think that like when you when you um build those memories your kids are going to want to duplicate your actions and um 
it's stuff like this that helps them, you know, choose, make better life choices. It, it may seem like a benign thing, but like as you grow up and if you're starting to stray, you think back to your home life and how things were and hopefully how happy you were as a family and that and then you want that for yourself and you want to do the same things you want to celebrate the holidays and um you want to be festive and so i think it's really important to make good memories uh with your kids and with your family and uh it I, it's already rubbing off on my two girls they're old enough um my four-year-old he's still kind of young and he has autism so but even he, I think, really appreciates it. I can I can see him getting excited sometimes. Um, <clears throat> but it's just like a huge thing. Like my girls, they have a four day weekend right now, and um, like they they were looking forward to putting up. <laughs> now this is gonna sound kind of crazy. We're we're not really big Halloween people. We just we're not. Um, we still celebrate it. We're not like oh it's a evil holiday and you shouldn't celebrate it. Um, no, we're, we're not like that. Although I do not like a lot of what Halloween has become and how it seems to just get more <clears throat> horror and gory oriented every single year. But uh, anyway, so normally, normally the last week of October, what we'll do is we um, we put up uh, Christmas <laughs> the last week or no, we, the last week we'll put up our Christmas village because we have a pretty a pretty big Christmas village, and I'll show you that once we once that gets set up. And then <clears throat> November first, we put up Christmas because we basically just view Thanksgiving as you know Christmas one, and then Christmas is Christmas two, or <clears throat> however you want to think of it. Um, you know, and I know that's really appalling to some people, and and that's okay. But we're all free to like what we like and do things how we like to do them, and so that's what we do. So. We've transferred a lot of the Halloween stuff from inside the house to outside. Uh, you can see the lights over there on the porch. We have like a Halloween tree thing. Um, so we moved all the Halloween, well, a lot of the Halloween, the Halloween stuff out. And uh, my, because my my girls, they want, they were so excited to put up Christmas, and it's a four-day weekend for them. And I was just like, you know what? Okay, that's fine. It's been kind of a crazy week so let's just go ahead and we'll we'll put up christmas now and uh so probably like in a day or two i'll have the christmas village that i'll be able to show you guys um and that's become something that my kids are just in love with they, they love the christmas village every year we um go to walmart and walmart actually they do uh christmas village pieces and they're at a good price and they're not like bad quality they're not like the best quality, but they're not, they're not bad. Um, there's a lot of times when you're looking at the village pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell what comes from Walmart and what comes from, um, I don't know the other brands. My wife does, but, um, anyway, so I, I'm just happy that like my kids really cherish the, the seasons and the holidays. And I know that that's going to be important for them as they grow up. And hopefully that'll have an effect on their kids when they start their own families. So I think it's kind of a big deal. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. So uh, this might be something you might want to do with your household if you don't live in a HOA, or I guess even if you do, if they allow you to do this, uh, this is one way that if you, if you don't want to like string up a bunch of lights all, all over the place and figure out you know where to plug them in and buy extension cords and stuff like this stuff like that this <clears throat> i think is another pretty good alternative because you can put these things anywhere uh you could put them up along the uh the roof of the house like you can find ways to attach them there uh temporarily you can put them up in trees you can anywhere that you can think um it may take a little creativity on your part but i i just really like this because it's so easy to just like leave them there all year long just change out the colors they come on automatically don't have to worry about extension cords or a power bill um so i think there's kind of a lot of benefits to just getting these solar lights all right so i'll let you go again if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe like this video if you liked it hit the notification bell leave your comments and i'll talk to you later